Good evening and welcome back once again. Well, if you joined us last time, uh, it, was a, it was a tough game. Uh, played pretty well and uh, as you can see on the bottom left there, it doesn't tell the full story. We were winning 1-0 up until I believe it was the 92nd minute. Pretty much the last kick of the game. Got hit in the counter-attack and um, Santander scored against us and got the equaliser. Good goal as well, so I couldn't complain. But today we're back in the Copa del Rey, so this is going to be a really tough one. We're playing Athletic Club Bilbao. They're currently about mid-table in Division 1. This is going to be our biggest challenge yet. And this is the lineup go going in with today. Fortunately, we had to make a couple of changes, mainly because of uh, just conditions of players. So we've had to take Vieira off. We could have played him. He's on a downward orange, but we've got Rice and Casaldean who are on good conditions. So I've done the usual in terms of dropping Herrera down to defensive mid. Rice can play centre mid, and we'll have Casaldean in attacking midfield. Other than that, we've also got Kavazovic, who's going to continue in centre defence. Remember, we have sold Eriksson, who's normally one of our first-choice centre-backs. He will be leaving in January, and we we'll kind of want to give this youngster a bit of game time to try and sort of improve a little bit before um, Eriksson actually leaves. So let's just jump in and see how we'll get on. Can we make it through the second round of the Cup? It's going to be a tough match. Really is. Definitely our biggest challenge yet. Athletic Bilbao, obviously, they're, bit, they're in the first division. I think they've got had three wins and three losses, so it's a mixed form. Um, but would I expect to be the serious underdogs in this one? And obviously missing Vieira is a big blow. We could bring him off the bench. And, uh, you know, there was reasons maybe to think about playing him anyway. Um... But I just think with the condition that he's in, form rather. Hang on, here's Castledean. Oh, just wide. Good effort there. Well, if Castledean continues in that form and gets in positions in the the final third in between those lines of defence and midfield, then um, maybe we won't miss Vieira too much. I think maybe if our other midfielders that could have stepped in were just on normal condition uh, or normal form, we may have just started with him anyway. Um, but you really do feel the difference when they're on that uh, either downward orange or... I mean, you definitely don't want to play them on the downward red, that's for certain. Sexy! Oh, good save there. Uh, oh, oh. The keeper made a dive for it, but that looked like it was going well wide into the last couple of seconds there. I don't think it was... Oh, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit nearer than um, I originally thought. And of course, their, their goalkeeper is a very talented goalkeeper. Uh, is it Simon? Is that how you pronounce it? It's not Simon. Pretty Simon. Very good goalkeeper. So you'd expect him to be pulling off saves like he did just earlier. Nice work. Rice. Oh, hit the post. Oh. Well, we've done everything so far but score. Nice little layoff. Just get nudged there, but yeah, clips the outside of the post. It's good stuff though, keeping the pressure up. You wouldn't... Uh, I mean, if you didn't know these two clubs and were told that one was a Division 1 team and one was a Division 2, I don't think you would pick, uh, pick the right one for who's who so far leaving a lot of space nice work from Perez there lovely ball oh hits the post again oh wow 
It's a fantastic ball. And, and to be fair, Xerxes gets up really well. He just can't direct it on target. And the youngsters in being in pretty good form. He had a, a tough sort of first game and a half. It looked like things weren't going for him. And then he scored right towards the end of that game. And I think that sort of changed things for him. He's been on good form since then. Could be in here. And he is. Oh, it's another good save. Maybe made it look a little bit flash than it needed to be. Now, what you've got to remember is typically in, I think, this version of Pairs or Pairs 20, uh, the counter attack is um, massive from the AI. So, quite often you can have a dominating game and it's that one or two counter attacks. Oh, wide! How haven't we scored? But yeah, the counter attack's what you've got to watch out for. They're pretty lethal normally. Nice first touch there. Oh, just wide again. It's sort of getting to the point now where um, you would say we are being a little bit wasteful. Maybe being a little bit unlucky with the ones that hit the post, but we've had chances now. Plenty of chances. Decent ball. Carlos Perez can just keep it in. Ah, the right back did not react quick enough there. I don't think that was a bad ball. Good pressure from Xerxes there. Don't let them have it easy. Nice defending. But still get it back. A nice header from the youngster and breaks up play as well. Oof. Bit of a hopeful ball to be fair there. Might get it back. No. No. That's gonna be I was gonna yeah, I was gonna say that should be a foul, but they play it on. Well defended there in the end. But they are getting themselves back in the game a little bit. Because you haven't really created too many problems so far, but that's how it starts. You just gotta be careful. Nice tackle. I uh, misjudged the run from Rice there. Xerxes really good at playing on the shoulder of defenders. He seems to time that well a lot of the time. Not much space for Rice. Ooh, was that a foul? No, apparently not. Got to watch it here. That's going to be offside. Yeah, timed that well. I saw it run back in. Well offside there. Not long left though. Um, and that's not what I was trying to do. That was poor. I was just trying to play it short. Good tackle there from Herrera. Oh, that's a poor ball though. That's a really poor ball from Herrera. That's not like him at all. He's only so calm and collected and plays the, the simple ball well. Now it is, it's half time. We'll jump into the. Uh, well, actually, no, let's have a look at the stats first. Yeah, 64% possession, seven shots, only two on target. Hit the post twice as well, remember. So, yeah, starting the second half. Let's hope we can sort of pick up the pace a little bit. And. Um, we just need to do a bit better attacking wise really nice play at the start though I lost the ball Arcas bit of room no lost a bit there 
Oh, nice ball, Perez. Ah, blocked again. But Herrera's got it. Yeah, we like Herrera sitting in that sort of slightly deeper ball sometimes. Now, what can Rice do here? That's not a lot of space. Don't lose it, whatever you do. Definitely think we need to look at uh, some decent win backs eventually. Ah, oh, that's a shocking ball. Yeah. I just don't think our wing backs offer anything really, they're just there to, for the numbers. And they don't really offer much t defensive support really either, they do get caught out sometimes. That's a poor pass from Perez. Good tackle though. Oh, I was trying to play in Xerxy there, I wasn't actually trying to play in Kazaldin. He was in. Again, Rice finding a bit of space. Castledean. Oh, it's blocked again. Oh, and the keeper's got it. Yeah, like I say, a lot of the shots do get blocked, unfortunately. Just one of those things you have to, you know, every game's got certain things that happen. It's just the way the game's built, and you have to just deal with it. And I think sometimes you just got to accept if you have a shot, especially outside the box, quite often they're going to get blocked. But let's have a look. We'll make some changes here. Okay, so we are going to bring on Fabio Vieira and Carlson. Taking a bit of risk with that. Um, pushing Arcus up front and putting Xerxy. Um, sorry, taking Xerxy off and putting Arcus up top. And Xerxy hasn't played terrible or anything. It's just, it's just not quite working, is it? Um, you know, we've just got to make whatever changes we see fit as the game goes Xerxes is still our number one striker get a free kick there surely that's a free kick it is yeah it's just a lot of oh got some space here ah oh. It was fired in, but uh, straight at the keeper. Not going to trouble trouble a keeper like uh, Simon. Simon, I think it's Simon. Sorry, nice tackle there. Rice, Rice has been playing pretty well. I, I say that and he play a poor ball. Herrera just about wins it. Right, Carlson, first time on the ball. He's got a little bit of pace. Oh, decent attempt at the pass. I think that was really Ark. I should have got that. Not a bad pass. And Vieira, yeah, he's on a little bit downward condition, but he's still, you know, one of our best players. So, had to get him on. Carson again in. He's been on the ball a couple of times in space already. Ah, oh, that's poor, though. Should be a corner. Oh. I thought it was a corner, it must have came off our player. Just got to be careful because we are on top, but they could easily hit us on the counter, and defensively we're not that sound once you get into the, the final third. Carlson again here, needs to play a decent ball. Arcas. Ah. Worth an effort, but, well, was it from 25 yards? Uh, get a little bit desperate if you're trying to score a 25 yard, I suppose. Ooh, well, it's fine. Kovacevic got it there. Nice ball from Vieira. And he's got it back again. Ah, nah. Not the best pass, but also that he stopped his run. It wasn't the best run. Right, Herrera needs to win that. Uh, well, he sort of does, but it goes to one of their players. Again, we're not getting the second ball. Good tackle from Rice, though. Rice has had a pretty decent game. Carson in again. Can he put in a decent ball this time? No, he's lost it again. Do you know what? He has made a difference, but it's just that quality. He just doesn't quite have it. He's got a bit of pace. He's finding finding space and getting free from markers, but... Ooh. 
Ooh. Nope, thought about bringing out the keyboard a couple of times. Well, that's an animation I haven't seen before. He got, um, looked like my player got winded when he got hit by the ball. That was... Fabio Vieira, can he play in Carlson? He can. Ah, he's lost it again. Ah, what's it, like four times he's lost it? I mean, yeah, he's had the ball a few times, but he hasn't done anything with it. That's the trouble. Um, just be careful. Rice again. Fine and Vieira. And again, a lovely pass through to Carlson. Just play it in. Oh, that's so poor. Need a, a part of that was me. I should have played in maybe a little bit earlier. But he just can't seem to find the space. I think we'll... Yeah, we'll stick with Vieira taking this. So who can he have a shot? No, he's going to pass it. Vieira. Rice. Oh, he's going to have a shot there. Just took a little bit too long. There it is. It's full time. Ooh, means we're going to have to go into extra time. Some tired bodies out there, but um, let's jump into it. And we're going into extra time. It's been a struggle this game. It really has. And we're going to have some tired legs after this one. We we'll really need to go for this uh, this win to get through to the next round. It'll be a big coup for us beating a Division 1 team. Here's Bajer. Oh. Decent ball. Just couldn't quite find the man. Can Bajer make the difference? He's looked pretty good when he's been making appearances either from the bench or from starting. Obviously he hasn't had as much game time as some of the big stars. Here he is again though. Can he find... No, just lost that a little bit. Gotta remember he is a youngster. He is from the youth team. Can he close him down? Ooh, that's a poor pass. I didn't quite react in time with Argos. But yeah, the fact that Bajer has only just come from the youth team, so he's been one of our key performers in the past few matches. And here he is again. Nice ball. Argos! Oh! What a finish that was. Lovely ball. Sorry, I just clapped right <laughs> into the microphone, I think. Um, yeah, the switches worked. So Arcas going up top and then bringing Bajer on the right-hand side. With his weaker foot there, by the way. What a lovely glancing header. Yeah, I mean, Arcas, when he's played up top, which isn't very often, he's um, he's done the job. Really nice header. Now we just need to hold on to this win. Oh, can we get a second? I mean, we'll see, but, you know, we don't want to push it. The main thing is that we, we, uh, I was going to say keep the three points, but, ooh, no, that's well wide. I think that's that first shot and goal. That's not, um, it's nowhere near on target, but I think that's their first attempt. Yeah, so I, it's the coppers out of the way, obviously, so we don't get points, but, to get through to the, the next round will be absolutely amazing. Be great to draw one of the big teams as well. Really uh, pit ourselves against a, a difficult team. Uh, just caught the defender there. Well, it's nearly half time in the first half of extra time. Just need to be careful. Don't want to be losing the ball in our own half. Yeah, there it is, half time. We're just going to jump straight into the second. So, not long left, 15 minutes in game. Um, here's Bajero again. Now, Vieira. Oh, he just loses out there. His legs have gone a little bit. Some tired bodies out there. And we're going to have to remember that in the next few matches. But I think we've got quite a few games in short succession. And having this extra time certainly won't help. I'm going to have to rotate the squad. But the main thing is get through this game. Got the ball there, Herrera. Maybe he hasn't had his best game, but. Rice has been playing well. Carlson, um, he seems to have made a difference. He just he's lost the ball every time he's got near. Oh, ah, Algas lost it as well. But yeah, Carlson. If he just had a little bit more skill or, or passing ability, he, he could have ripped into this uh, defense. Ah, nearly kept it in.
just over five minutes left now just got to be calm and Yeah, get a clear rice. He's on his last legs, but he's played so well. And a nice ball out wide to Vieira. And again, his energy's right down. Here, Bajer. Can he put in a good ball? Oh, it's a lovely ball through to Orgas. Now it is. It's two. Wonderful finish. What a pass, though, from Bajer. Lovely, lovely touch. He's definitely got something. He's got... He's just got... His stats, obviously, aren't great. But what I've always found in pairs is that you can have three or four players with like almost exactly the same stats, and they just feel they can feel different. And there's something about Bashir that he just he's got. I mean, look at that pass; that's lovely, perfectly weighted, and a lovely finish from Argas in the corner again. This time with his right foot instead of his head. That's the game. There's only a couple of minutes left. But yeah, that change of bringing Bajer on on the right and putting then Arcus up top. Ooh, get, get the close down. That's nice. That's made all the difference though, those changes. Oh, could we go for a third? Not the hat trick, surely? No. No. That should be it. Should be full time. And there it is. We're through to the next round. A really hard forward win. Boy, that was tough. But Arcas coming through with a double. But Bajer, he made such a difference. Two assists for him as well. Really linking it well with Arcas. And yeah, just looking at the stats, they only had one shot on goal. And it was well wide. We were such the dominant team. But it, they pushed us in at extra time. But remember, this is a Division 1 team. We should be proud of that result. And man of the match, without doubt. Arcas, but Bajera close second behind. Yeah, he got a seven. Carlson got a four point five after coming on. He got loads of space and he did nothing with it. He lost it every single time. So that's totally understandable. But yeah, really happy with Arcas and Bajer. What a performance from them too. Rice as well, I think he deserved better than a six. And it looks like in the next round we have Levante, who are also in the second division for there. I think they might be top of the league at the minute or right up there. A bit of a rival. That'll be a good uh, a good round for us. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that match, guys. Really appreciate you joining once again. Really, really tough match. It's um you know, we start the season really well and I did say at one point that we may change the difficulty, but it was just it it's getting more and more difficult. Looks like we're playing Real Oviodo next. We've got quite a few close matches there. You know, we've got three matches in about seven days that's going to be difficult but yeah if you can like if you did enjoy the video leave a comment down below i love having the interaction with you guys and i'll see you all soon hopefully you'll join me for the next match cheers